time to reach for those colors, guys. That's right. After several times of me praising that game, it's time to show the reason why I love this game, or just do a review of this game, specifically this version. My buddy Alec gave me this game because he says he's not a Sonic expert, unlike me. Well, I think it's time for us to review Sonic Cover and the video. Let's first talk about the reason why I love Sonic Colors. The reason why being, it's just amazing. Every time I come back to play this game, I always get sucked in. Where, like, I'm actually a part of the game when I'm playing it. The DS version is not that close to the Wii version, but this version is still a good game. Why? Well, let's find out. Let's first talk about the story. It's pretty much the same as the Wii version. Sonic and Tails go to Eggman's outer space and use or to stop him from using his mind control beam. You know, that is fueled by hyper on energy. Gee, sounds a bit cliche for Eggman to use alien powers, but eh, at least the story is still engaging. Gee, that's the reason why I love Sonic Colors. The story is always amazing. How about the graphics? Are they still as amazing as the one in the Wii version? Not technically. They're the same as, say, Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. I'm not complaining about that. In fact, for someone who likes the Sonic Rush spin-offs, I love the graphics. Fix. They look so solid, especially during the cutscenes. See, it's where it's just the same as usual. Heck, we get dial log frames. That's amazing. Even for Sega standards. What about the game, Plagial? Is there something unique about the gameplay of Sonic Colors? On the DS version? They're the same as Sonic Rush and Sonic Adventure. Like I said for the graphics. Except with a new twist to it. You can now do the home and attack and the color. Uh, the wisp action. I don't know how to say them. Now instead of... Of laser drill spikes. Cube hover. Or rocket. Good friend and so on and so forth. The wisp in the, these games, are, uh, this game, are laser drill rocket get burst and void. It's a bit of a bummer, but eh. So the gameplay gets a pass on my taste. What about the characters? There are actually more characters than the Wii version. Like, every character from the main series is here. Silver, Blaze, Amy, Big, Cream, Shadow, Omega, Rouge, Knuckles. You get the picture. And they're all as likable as they were in the other games. So yeah, the characters, A+. Okay, what about the stages? Pfft, like, that's gonna happen. Well, you'll be surprised. The DS version has a lot to offer when it comes to Sonic Colors. This version, to be exact. Using the hand... On a hand... Held, it's pretty much unique of how the developers take away the game 
breastplate and how they dissect it into the levels. A way to use the boost formula, a way to use your homing attacks, a way to use the whips, and so on and so forth. Makes me wish why. A Sonic Rush and Sonic Adventure didn't do this before. Sonic Rush Adventure, I mean, not Sonic Adventure 1 or 2. Y you get the idea. Alright, time for the final results. For this version, to be exact. So, it's not as good as the Wii version, but it's still a darn good game. I'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, I love this game. But for the Wii version, it's a full caps suck 11 out of 10. You heard me say I rank Sonic Colors as my number one favorite game of all time. Here, I'll probably say like mm, top 30 or something. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time when I finally do a Pokemon countdown and another Spongebob one. I promise this will not be another fake out for Spongebob.